Okay, so I got this uh, flower sifter. It is a uh, Nor Pro. Now I've already tried it, but I'm going to do it again just to give you a demonstration. Uh, because I read some reviews where people said it didn't work very well. Uh, if, it, if the hopper was full, it uh, didn't sift well, so you had to use small batches. I don't know, but I'm just taking a wild guess here that perhaps they weren't using the Norpro. There's a bunch of knockoffs out there that look identical to this, but Norpro is a, is a name brand. And you, it could be that you got some Chinese knockoff, you know, that looks the same, uses the same battery and everything, but uh, I haven't seen any issues with this one at all, and that's why I actually opted to pay, it was like 20 bucks. I mean, you're going to pay 15 for like the knockoff, <laughs> you know, five bucks more, you get the name brand, you get the real one, and... Uh, you don't have a, a problem. So it uses a C type battery and I'll put this on here and uh, also they say that in order to wash the screen all you do is just unscrew this little screw down here and the screen comes right off. Okay. And they say never they actually say never. <laughs> never wash uh, this thing here. It's got some electronics in here. I have to admit, I did wash the inside of this part when I first bought it, you know. Anyway, I'm just going to show you because like people have said that a full hopper of these, what they claim is this same device, I'm thinking it might not be the same name brand, didn't work so well. Okay, so... It's a five cup hopper. As you can see, I've got it almost full. I'm just gonna sift it back into the bag because this is just for demonstration purposes. But, you know, case in point, this is so simple to operate that I'm actually holding the camera with uh, one hand while I'm doing this sifting with the other hand. So let's just get this in the bag and I'll turn it on. This thing doesn't seem to have any issues at all sifting. And we're getting a real nice sifted fluffy flower. So I was almost hesitant to buy it because of the reviews. I know I keep saying this over and over, but I'm thinking perhaps you guys bought a cheap knockoff and it doesn't work so well. This, as you can see, don't have any problem with this one. I actually highly recommend this. And so, before I throw the box away, I just notice they also give you a little recipe here for banana nut bread. I think I'll give that a try. Just notice something interesting on their uh, recipe. They They call for three cups of flour. Now one of the attractions in buying a sifter is that you can use uh, recipes that call for flour by weight. If you do everything by weight, if your uh, recipes are all done by weight, you can't miss. It'll, it'll be much more accurate and consistent every time. You can measure flour in many different ways you know, depending on whether you scoop it in the cup and then scrape it off with a knife to make it level, right? We've all done that. Or scoop it up against the side of the bag and make a, uh, a level cup that way. Or scoop it in there and then you, you shake the measuring cup to see, you know, where it falls. I mean, and you, it doesn't come out the same weight every time. And that's the beauty of a flour sifter. You can get the flour measurement for your recipe from your recipe by weight which will be much more accurate and then sift it and use that which is why I bought a scale too so you can get some pretty cool stuff from China this is a um, this is what five bucks will get you on eBay 
I like it. Look how small it is. It fits right in the kitchen drawer, uh, and it's, it does what you need it to do. Uh, properly weighed cup of flour is about 125 grams. Scale is pretty cool. If you put a, a plate on it or a measuring cup or whatever, and then you turn it on, it uh, automatically starts at zero. So it automatically assumes, I guess most scales are like this today, it automatically assumes that you've got a container on there and that's going to be your zero point. And now you can weigh your stuff on your container. This is what, um, now I get a negative weight, see, because I took the plate off. Um, this is what five bucks will get you on eBay.